Good day, everybody. How you doing today? Um, as most of you know, I've been driving for Uber for a couple of months now, and I've met a lot of people, a lot of great people. Um, I've even uh, met a few that, eh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, and as I said before, sometimes politics creeps up in the conversations, but I've always tried very hard to not allow politics or religion or personal opinion pop up into a conversation for fear that I'd end up arguing with the passengers. Yesterday, now today is Wednesday, I don't know, March something or other, and towards the end of March, I think it's the 30th, maybe 31st, I don't know. But anyways, I was uh, informed yesterday, or last night rather, that I offended somebody. I was informed by Uber that I offended somebody. Now, that kind of set me off because, as I said, I, I try and keep the conversations light. I try to keep them, you know, a lot of people to just feel comfortable. <clears throat> when you're dealing with strangers, sometimes people have this little apprehension. So I, I try and keep it more like a long-lost friend kind of situation. So I got upset by it. I was very upset by it. I called up Uber and said, don't ever put those people in my truck again. And I said, and if you were smart, you would just not put them in anyone's car. Let them take the bus or a cab or even walk. That's how upset I was. Because I didn't do anything to deserve that complaint. This morning I woke up and I was still quite angered by it. I almost didn't drive today because of it. But I figured, you know, most of the people are good people and they've got their heads on their shoulders. So I just went ahead and did it. I picked up my first rider and he asked me how I was doing. And I said, oh, okay. And he kind of picked up on the fact that I was uptight still over that. He didn't know what, but, you know, he, he picked up that I was still uptight. So I explained to him what had happened. And when I dropped him off, he says, listen, don't let these people get to you. Some of them just don't know what to be offended about. So that kind of helped a little bit. But then I got to my second rider. And I went and I picked her up. And uh, she almost fell getting into the truck. And I asked her, you know, are you okay? You know, what's wrong? She says, oh, she says, I got dizzy spells. And as we're driving, I, I, I commented, you know, I hope it's nothing serious. You know, you're going to go see a doctor. I hope nothing serious. She says, no, I've already been. She says, I've got 15 tumors. They're all benign, but they're brain tumors, and there, there's 15 of them. And I was dumbfounded. I didn't know what to say. So she continued on. She says, you know, talking about the brain tumors and all the things they can do, and none of which had the possibility, you know, none of which had uh, the guarantee of any good results. And then she said something to me that just, it really struck home. She said, my mother died of a cancerous brain tumor. She says, and I've got 15 of them. She says, I'm an overachiever. And I busted out laughing. I couldn't believe she said that. She goes, I'm an overachiever. And it's when it dawned on me, I'm upset over nothing. I am angered over absolutely nothing in comparison to what this woman is dealing with. And it made me realize that no matter how bad my problems get, no matter what happens, there's always somebody out there that's got it worse. I thought that was a lesson I learned a long time ago, but evidently either I didn't learn it or I didn't learn it well enough because it was, it was like a smack in the face to me today. So this is what I want. I'm, my whole message with this, this whole video is... We all have our problems, but there's always somebody out there with a bigger problem. And if you try and keep that in mind, our problems won't seem so serious. This problem with this person that I, you know, complaining about how I offended them, it's no big deal. It really isn't. Not when you compare it to somebody with 15 brain tumors. It's not, it's not uh, a problem when you compare it to somebody who's 
um, sitting home, unable to do anything whatsoever, not even visit with people. So I guess the whole, you know, like I said, the whole point is no matter how bad your problems are, there's probably somebody out there with worse problems that they're dealing with. And with that, we should count the blessings that we have instead of worrying about the problems that we have. So this, this video has been going on for over five minutes. Uh, so I'm going to let you all go. But that's something to think about. Remember, no matter how bad your problems are, there's probably somebody out there with them worse. Have a good day.